Maybe the radio signal picked up from Proxima Centauri hints at the possibility of life-supporting planets in our galaxy. There are billions of such planets and the James Webb Space Telescope JWST could help us find them. The JWST is an astounding human achievement, allowing us to explore space with unmatched strength, much greater than any other space camera launched. Scientists hope it will reveal distant objects in ways never before possible. One of JWST's targets is Proxima B, where it will search for manufactured lights and exciting prospect. Using probes like New Horizons or Voyager 1 and 2, scientists aim to understand whether any lights from Proxima B are artificial. What might the JWST find as it approaches this alien world? Could these findings change life as we know it? Come along as the JWST makes potential groundbreaking discoveries about artificial lights on Proxima B, possibly altering our perception of extraterrestrial life. For decades, people have pondered whether intelligent life exists beyond Earth, but finding it has proven challenging. Many worlds could be promising for this search, with Proxima B being a key focus due to some unsettling discoveries. Why are scientists so interested in Proxima B? Located near Proxima Centauri, part of a unique trio of stars, Proxima B's close proximity to its star might indicate liquid water could exist in its habitable zone. Unlike our Sun, Proxima is cooler, allowing its habitable zone to be closer, a prime setting for potential life. Despite being the closest Earth-like asteroid, Proxima B is unreachable for humans anytime soon, as exploring it with current technology would take millennia. It doesn't transit directly in front of Proxima Centauri, making its path difficult to determine. Astronomers are uncertain whether Proxima B's orbit is circular or elliptical. Additionally, Proxima B might not always have been habitable. It likely started out closer to its star, enduring high temperatures for a long time. Detecting exoplanets like Proxima B remains challenging, requiring innovative methods. Since the first exoplanet discovery in 1995, scientists have located thousands, mostly by tracking the wobble of stars due to planetary gravity or using transit detection methods like those of the Kepler telescope. With transient spectroscopy, scientists analyze starlight that has passed through an exoplanet's atmosphere, providing insights into its chemical composition. Advanced techniques like gravitational microlensing aid in finding even more exoplanets. Enter the JWST, humanity's most advanced exoplanet detection tool, launched at a staggering $10 billion, with contributions from over 300 institutions and international space agencies. Equipped with a 6.5-meter-wide mirror made of gold-covered beryllium, it's much larger than the Hubble. The mirror is precisely maneuvered by over 100 motors, while the telescope primarily observes in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to detect faint exoplanetary signals. JWST's instruments, kept cool with helium, are protected by a giant sunshield, which was carefully unfurled in space. The JWST's transit method will allow it to search for exoplanets close to bright stars, studying even subtle indicators like seasonal changes, plant life, and atmosphere conditions. Scientists remain vigilant for signals from intelligent alien species, utilizing instruments like the Allen Telescope Array. This set of 42 radio antennas explores signals from nearby red dwarfs, representing only a fraction of the search. For scientists, any form of life, even if not intelligent, would be an extraordinary discovery. Even microbes could indicate extraterrestrial life. This is because even the tiniest microorganism on a distant world might emit a chemical signal detectable by our powerful telescopes. If there were no life, gases in the atmosphere might suggest this presence, with oxygen potentially indicating life on a world. Scientists are continuously searching for gases or compounds, like water, to find life but must be cautious. As these compounds may originate from non-living sources, with different processes entirely. This raises the question why is Proxima B of particular interest to scientists? To understand this, one must know where it is located. Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor at four light years away, hosts planets orbiting it similarly to our Sun. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b has captivated scientists due to its Earth-like mass and its position in its star's habitable zone, which suggests potential for liquid water and life. Proxima b orbits its star, just as Earth orbits the Sun, though the star is dimmer and smaller. Tidal locking means one side of Proxima b always faces its star, while the opposite side remains in perpetual darkness. Unknowns remain about Proxima B's atmosphere, including if it contains clouds, water, 
or carbon dioxide elements fundamental for life. The planet's proximity to its star enables it to complete an orbit in just 11 Earth days, with surface temperatures estimated between minus 90 and 30 DTC minus 130 to 86 deg. In 2016, the HARPS spectrograph initially detected Proxima b, and the more precise espresso spectrograph confirmed it after 63 observations in a year. Proxima b's similarity to Earth is notable in size, being 1.77 times larger and slightly heavier. Due to its faster orbit around its star, one would age more quickly there. Observations confirm Proxima b's tidal lock, resulting in bright and dark sides akin to the Moon-Earth system. Proxima b orbits a three-star system and, along with two other planets, was detected using the radial velocity method, which tracks star wobbles caused by gravitational effects. Proxima b's orbit is within the habitable or Goldilocks zone, where conditions might support life. Despite only receiving about two-thirds of Earth's solar energy, Proxima b's proximity to its star makes life possible due to its warm Goldilocks zone, which raises hopes for liquid water. X-rays, UV light, and particles that could strip gases or liquids from Proxima b are tempered by visible and infrared radiation, essential for warmth. While Proxima b's radiation exposure is higher than Earth's, scientists are investigating if it retained gases and water over its 5 billion year existence. Atmospheric studies using advanced tools suggest that Proxima b was initially bombarded by intense radiation, possibly losing ocean-equivalent water in its first 100 to 200 million years. Current research examines whether it continuously loses atmospheric gases or retains a viable atmosphere with liquid water, enhancing its habitability. A 3D model has identified possible water-rich regions on Proxima b, likely in the hemisphere facing the star or a tropical belt. If life exists on Proxima b, intense radiation from its star could potentially foster certain life forms on the day side. At 4.5 million miles from its star minus 10 times closer than Mercury to the Sun Proxima b's radio signals were initially considered natural interference. However, the planet's dark side might require advanced lighting like mirrors or LEDs for a potential civilization, which the JWST telescope could detect. Near-infrared JWST observations targeting lead light wavelengths could help identify artificial light on the dark side. Studies simulated possible light scenarios, revealing that JWST might capture artificial light if 5% of stellar power is lead produced. By focusing on narrow band light emissions, JWST could describe Proxima b's atmosphere and energy distribution. Using exposure time tools, Harvard scientist Avi Loeb and colleagues concluded that JWST could feasibly detect lead-like artificial lighting, specifically on the night side. Proxima b's findings are significant due to the vast number of planets in our galaxy alone. Nearly every star in the Milky Way likely hosts a planet, increasing the likelihood of discovering life-sustaining planets like Proxima b. Proxima b could be humanity's destination in the future. With Breakthrough Starshot an ambitious $100 million initiative aiming to launch nanocraft to Alpha Centauri at one-fifth the speed of light. These probes could arrive in just 20 years, drastically shorter than current technology allows, in 2015, the $100 million Breakthrough Listen project, led by Andrew Simeon and backed by Yuri Milner, used the 64-meter Parkes radio telescope in Australia to search for extraterrestrial radio signals. The study uncovered a distinctive signal, BLC1, at 982.5551 MJ, potentially originating from Proxima Centauri. A Hillsdale College student, Shane Smith, identified this intriguing, narrow-band signal in the data. The telescope repeatedly detected BLC-1 while pointed at Proxima, disappearing when aimed elsewhere. Jason Wright from Penn State University emphasized that this narrow frequency range seldom used by human-made devices could be technology from another planet.